will be moving to the next question question number 71 if for x belonging to the interval 0 to 1 by 4 the derivative of tan inverse 6x root x upon 1 minus 9x cube is root x into gx then the value of gx is so this question is totally based on the derivative we need not apply any more concept to it so let us begin with the solution of 71 code a so we have been given the function tan inverse 6 x into root x upon 1 minus 9 x cube right this is a function that is given to us and its derivative is given in the form root x into gx so before actually doing the derivative let us try to simplify this we can write this as tan inverse be careful 6x into root x can be written as 3x right 3x into root x into 2 upon 1 minus 3x into root x right the whole square is it okay to everyone can we write like this yes so this is equal to tan inverse let us rearrange it it is 2 into 3x into root x upon 1 minus 3x root x the whole square it is simply of the form tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square which is simply 2 tan inverse x and what is x we have 3x root x correct right we can write because x belongs to the interval 0 to 1 by 4 we can write for this interval tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square as 2 tan inverse x right now let us find out the derivative of this function if we differentiate with respect to x so the derivative so let us write it as fx the function as 2 tan inverse 3x into root x now if we do the derivative f dash x which is equal to 2 upon 1 plus x square here x is 3x root x the whole square into into the derivative of 3x into root x that means 3 is constant we can take it outside the derivative of ddx of x to the power 3 by 2 right so just solve it and get the answer so it is 6 upon 1 plus 9 x cube into the derivative of x to the power 3 by 2 is 3 by 2 root x so it is simply we are obtaining 9 by 1 plus 9 x square and root x it is root x so what will be the value of gx gx will be simply 9 upon 1 plus 9 x square so the correct option is option 4 option 4 is correct now we will be moving to the next question which says that the normal to the curve y into x minus 2 into x minus 3 equals x plus 6 at the point where the curve intersects the y axis passes through the point so let us begin with this question solution let us write down the curve which is y into x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to x plus 6 now when this curve is going to intersect the y axis its x coordinate will be 0 when x is equal to 0 we can find the corresponding value of y which is y equals 1 we need to find the equation of the normal 
so first we will try to find the equation of the tangent or the slope of the tangent let us find out the slope of the tangent let us differentiate the equation of the curve so if we differentiate we will get d y by dx x minus 2 into x minus 3 right plus y into the derivative of x minus 2 into x minus 3 will be 2x minus 5 and that is equal to 1 we are since it is the equation so as we are differentiating we have to differentiate on both the side of the equation so from here dy by dx can be found out at the point 0 comma 1 so this is 6 this value is x is 0 so it is minus 5 is equal to 1 we are obtaining dy by dx is equal to 6 by 6 that is equal to 1 so this is the slope of the tangent what will be the slope of the normal slope of normal will be minus 1 slope of normal will be equal to minus 1 so what will be the equation of the normal equation of normal equation of normal will be y minus y1 which is 1 equals minus 1 x minus 0 right so this is equal to y plus x is equal to 1 right is equal to 1 so let us mark it as equation number 1 now this this is a normal it passes through which point we can satisfy the given options to get the answer so the correct answer to this question is option 1 because 1 by 2 1 by 2 it satisfies the equation of the normal y plus x equals 1 so the correct answer is option 1 option 1 is correct now let us move to the next question question number 73 which says that 20 meters of a wire is available for fencing of a flower bed in the form of a circular sector then the maximum area in square meter of the flower bed is so this question is from the application of derivative and we have been given a circular sector let us take the radius of that circle from where we have taken the sector being r let us say this angle being theta let us mark this points as oab so 20 meters of wire that means we have been given the total perimeter so total perimeter will be the length of oa plus ob plus ab so total length kitna hoga it will be r plus r plus ab is theta into r is 20 right so it is 2r plus theta r is equal to 20 let us mark it as equation number 1 and what will be the area of this circular sector area we know area is equal to for any circular sector it is the angle theta upon the total angle of a circle in radians that is 2 pi into the total area of the circle that is pi r square and this is the portion the fraction of the total area of the circle so we can write theta from equation 1 as 20 minus 2 r upon r this is the value of theta from equation 1 into pi r square upon 2 pi right so just simplify this we can cancel pi and pi 1 r can be cancelled out and we are left with 10 r minus r square is the area of the circular sector now we need to maximize it so for maximizing we need to equate the derivative of area with respect to r as 0 da by dr will be equal to 0 at the point right where it is going to be the maximum or minimum so da by dr equals 0 that means it is 10 minus 2r equals 0 which implies the value of r is equal to 5 now whether this point is a point of maximum or minima is determined by the second order derivative that is d2a by dr2 if we take the second order derivative of da by dr it is simply minus 2 which is less than 0 so it clearly implies that 
r equals 5 is the point of is the point or it is simply the radius it is a point of maximum at that point at that value of r so what is the correct answer to this question the r is 5 so what will be the maximum area maximum area will be corresponding to r equals 5 that is equal to so area is equal to 10 r minus r square so simply put the value of simply put the value of r equals 5 so it will be 50 minus 25 that is 25 square units square meters so the correct answer is option 2 so the correct answer is option 2